hi aries welcome back to the channel aries the emperor here i am back with another general reading for all of my aries collective if you guys are new here welcome this is an all aries channel for all aries placements cross watchers you are welcome as well just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone and that is okay do not force the reading place the gender roles where they need to be for you this is energy energy is all fluid okay so I don't know why I feel like this reading may be one of those readings um <laughs> I feel like the the last few have been so um just stick with me for a second okay we are sun in Taurus moon in Scorpio all right and I just got this specific download like you got a mad people see you and their their entire mood may change um but it's just it's nothing to your fault you know you just have something that is of main character energy i love the way that sounds and i love that for you aries let's jump into it fertility like who doesn't love a pregnant woman right or it is bringing new life into this world like that's main character energy right there whether this is like a physical baby or you're just somebody who is creative um or just outgoing or not even outgoing you know it's, it's just something that um what you bring is 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 heaven sent or at least it feels it's something that's been touched by angel and which you have been you touched by them every single day, okay? All right, let's get into it. Thank you, guys. I just want to say to all of you who like and subscribe to the channel, I'm grateful for your donations. Um, to those of you who comment book readings share readings shop the website i am working behind the scenes i have a um, ton of candle orders finished i'm just working to get them all packed up and shipped out to you guys so i'll be doing that um, today and um, tomorrow as well as getting readings out to you so if you'd like to connect with me all of my information is in the description box down below via my website email address and my second channel I want to change some things around on the second channel here. I'm excited. Um, so hopefully you guys will join me here soon. All right, spirit, what messages? All right, we have financial and material changes. It came out in the reverse heart chakra so this is something um that someone could be taking personal in regards to you um this could be some a way you made someone feel you may be unaware that you've made someone feel this way or that you are making someone feel a certain way you know people will find themselves sometimes in imaginary beef <laughs> because you don't compete with other people right you know, you are the fool. You walk with your head high up in the clouds, for God's sake. You know, you're not looking at anybody. You, if anything, you're looking past everybody because literally the fool is about to walk off of a damn cliff, right? And the tarot spreads. So this is an energy where it's there's no level of mad for you. <laughs> and even if you do reach it, it's probably going to be on your behalf. You know, not really someone being able to come in and just trigger you. At this time, you really are the Martian um, Aries collective, you know, um, and that's what Mars is. It's the red planet here. It's the next best thing that, that everybody's working to try and get on to. Um, and you've been there from the start, you know, so I always remember that. That's main character energy for sure, if I ever um, could think of any, you know, um, and you're the, the first one out, you know, so... Um, whether this has to do with you d being financially well off on your way to being financially well off, um, or you just are showing that there may be some type of upgrades that are happening or playing out for you, you know, you've worked hard for this shit, right? So things should be on the up and up for you or panning out for a lot of you guys, um, especially as we're 
um, walking into Taurus season and um, entering um, the post shadow period for Mercury retrograde. Um, so ironic. We got ops in the sun and the moon right now. So this could be, like I said, somebody looking at you like an op because that would be something heart chakra that they would be taking very personally. Or this could be, you know, just take it how it resonates. But yeah, Taurus and Scorpio are complete opposite on the Zodiac. Opposing sides. <laughs> Triumph. There's that red flag. Fulfillment of wishes. Yeah. Your side is looking so green, you know, and, and this green is, is beautiful. Like this is one of my favorite colors, emerald or like that, that, that really bright. It's, it's just, it, it speaks of wealth in, in itself. And, and it, that starts from the inside. And like I said here, you know, this could upset people. You know, like you, you just walking around in this meta meditative state or like this just very, I almost said grasshopper like energy, but they hop all over the place and this card is green. So grasshopper could be significant to you. It could be some of y'all spirit animal, spirit insect. There's some, there's a meaning behind grasshoppers. I'm not very fond of them. I'm not even going to lie to you. They're just, they hop in whatever direction that they're in. And have you ever been in a field full of them? I have. One of the scariest days of my life. Let's get one more spirit. And then it's like in this card, it's like he's he's standing on this leaf, like he's setting the stage. This is like, I feel like you being, what's the word? Like when you preserve something so that it can st like stick around, it's just that good. You want it to be here forever. Like that's the type of energy that you exude. You have a formula, you know, if, if done right, you know, or, you know, if, um, it was able to be duplicated. It would be something that I feel like people would definitely be in line to, to have a dose of power. There's something about you this very powerful collective third eye chakra. And it starts right here in the mind, your psyche, your subconscious, you know, and that would drive people my, like mad. Um, I almost try to say mad and wild at the same time, but it's like, just think about it, you know, and if people really feel like you can read their minds, you're talking to their soul, you can see through their soul and through their spirit and all that type of stuff. Like, that's a scary thing. You know, that's like you tapping in and you morphing into just this mythical creature, something that's not real. It's something that they can't do. It's something that they're not feeling they're feel, that they don't feel like they connect to. It's something that makes it very special about you. You know, a lot of you guys, all you have to really do is put your intuitive powers to the test, man. And just really, you know, you don't have to go crazy balls to the wall, you know, here. Like I always say, take calculated risks um, and do your homework, do your research before you just jump into something and make sure that it's practical, that it connects here in the 3D, you know, because you still have to produce material like IE money right financial so um just think about that you know it's, it's just so much power and potential that people think that you have or or that you um could obtain like you can take over the world like type energy let's pull some tarot <laughs> don't mind me don't mind me but bottom line is you definitely are the star of the show. We're going to use the 78 stories.
I'm getting like a metamorphosis or something like this is just some of you guys are just so unbelievable when it comes to the shock value that you have delivered to a lot of people around you or that thought they knew you. It's a very defeating type of energy that they some people may feel. Um, it's a defensive type of energy where it's like a competition needs to be had. But like I said, you're not competing with anyone. You know, you're just simply connecting with forces that are just far stronger and, and beyond your power and that you even knew could work out for you. It's, it's nothing that nobody else, you know, can't tap into. You know, you just made the conscious decision and the conscious effort to explore this 12th house energy just a little deeper where people are afraid, you know, to, to even address the elephant in the room, Aries. Seven of Swords, yeah, they'd rather deflect and run off and flee and make something look good um, versus it being real three of swords you know and versus it being real this is like some type of energy where someone's definitely mad okay someone definitely is taking something personal someone feels hurt and um someone feels defeated uh it's just like a a, a energy here where somebody feels like you either are the one that got away um, that they, someone thought that you were fated for them, um, but they didn't hold you to a standard of proper respect. And this doesn't have to be a relationship, but this is just now people realizing that maybe they wasn't the Mary that made everything go round. You had a big part in that, or your energy is, is it just as big as that, if not bigger, literally here with the wheel of fortune. What you have alone can take you places here and it hurts somebody that they didn't see that or that they saw through that. Um, and now they happen to live with that. You literally could have broken off from someone and now you're going off in your life and, and you are living in your main character energy. You're thriving, you know, since you, you, you got out of that situation. I'm getting that, that movie um, with uh, JLo, Enough where she had to get away from the abusive husband. It doesn't have to be your situation, but it's just an example. Just of like taking your power back. Or, you know, it's just like when you think about a movie, there's always the underdog that finds its way. And all along, you know, was, was the chosen one, the golden child here. And that's you. I don't care what they tried to take away from you or they couldn't. They couldn't run fast enough with it. Uh-oh. Okay. Ace of Swords. Because what is for you, it says, look at that. I got the job. Is for you. Like, this is like scouts. This isn't like you going to the interview and you interviewing. Like, this is spirit scouting you out. What is for you. And, and, and who's going to sit at that big round table with you? And someone or somebody's upset that they're not. They're going to know your name. Trust me. They already know your name. Nine of Wands. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. It's like someone is losing their mind. Like someone is going mental here when they see you, when they hear like good news about you.
it like pains them or you know, it, they it's it sickens them and you may have no clue <laughs> you want to know why because you're too busy living in your own brain in your own life in your own main character energy whoever this is whatever situation this is collective you've already won baby you've already won ace of coins aka ace of pentacles i can't make this up you got the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles look the devil's never far behind capricorn energy yeah like literally and and this does the devil could be someone who is just not someone that you would need to be connected to, especially, like I said, if you've already separated yourself or if you separated yourself from um, things that, that used to have you in a low vibrational state, you know, then kudos to you, you know, because this is an energy where I'm trying to see how to say this. Because the Ace of Wands is right underneath the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil, which is Aries energy. So this is you like triumphing. This is like a comeback. This is like a duel, a standoff. And, and it's an energy of you coming out victorious. And no amount of seduction, no amount of hate, no amount of obsessive behavior, you know, no amount of just underhanded, just anything that somebody can do to the point where it would be devilish or to come up against you to plot, to scheme. They are mad and still stuck in that same wheel. Like this is somebody who has to self-medicate or this, this just may be energies that, that partake, you know, and there's nothing wrong, you know, with going out to nightclubs and, you know, having um, drink uh, drink or or you know just whatever it is but it's just like in moderation and, and it's just uh, based on your attachment to something here but somebody didn't see it for you somebody didn't see or somebody saw you being swallowed whole and they have really dark thoughts about Just why? Why you? This is getting strange. It's like someone playing devil's advocate. Some like the, them not seeing it coming. Judgment, Libra energy. <laughs> And is this not like someone coming out to perform like the main star of the show? I mean, it is judgment. And it's a special call. And that calls for you. Ace of Cups. All of the aces, except the wands, have come out. You are the fountain. Like, come on. Someone is mad. Like, your energy is just so healing and fulfilling. There's something so youthful about you. There's something so fun and serene and calm. Like you are someone who, you know, you're not portrayed. Whoever tried to portray you all out as egotistical, 
or, you know, just not being right mentally or, you know, just being off. Like people like to judge spiritual people, right? And say they're cuckoo or crazy or whatever, right? <laughs> but this is an energy when people actually get a one-to-one -one contact with you or get to observe you um, or, you know, just really get to see for themselves. You know, you look, can you see these little birdies down there? It's just like you're seeing through this, the person's soul and it's just like they can feel they can feel the energy back. Nine of Cups is something very fulfilling and rich about you. You're giving very much guru. Main character energy. Right? Nobody else is sitting at this table but him. This is this man's wish fulfillment. Everything his belly desires. I would say he's the star of the show. Or all of these dishes, either way, it's depicting you. This would mean, you know, they say you gaining weight. That means what? You getting paid. You know, or you eating good. Uh, you must be getting money. Like, these are things, like, where I come from where little sayings they say, like, you know, when you look like you're coming up so this could very well just simple things like that you know you able to trade this out and afford that now but like i said you worked hard for this so anybody that's got a reason to be mad or upset then they're just gonna have to you know denzel don't don't care who else is what else is going on in the movie you know he know he's the star he gonna show up and do his job and always delivers full card Aries energy. The two of coins, eight of cups, strength card Leo energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Don't accept every invitation. You know, every handshake is, is, is not a friendly handout. A lot of you guys are, I feel like individually being, what's the word I'm looking for? Like right now with the Scorpio full moon, is it's just like a, an energy of bonds or ties that you may either have begun to create. Um, just be aware of that type of energy at this time here. Because this is also a, a time where not only you may be reflecting, but others may be reflecting regarding you, like I say here. So just always stay in your independent energy. And that's throughout dating people, mixing and mingling with people, um, just creating any new bond. It's like someone would rather run in the other direction rather than to be confronted by you. It's like someone pretends to be like <laughs> their Batman until you, the real Bruce Wayne Batman, shows up. Literally, the justice, the magician. <laughs> I didn't even see this at first. And does he not kind of look like Bruce Wayne? Either way, it's Libra, Aries energy. And I feel like justice is pointing like imposter. Ace of Wands, Nine of Coins. Don't 
this is an energy of you know you have really done a 360 a 90 hell of 45 you know but whatever you are doing keep doing it you know keep allowing spirit in and like i said keep your your heart chakra open you know just use your discernment and bonds and ties that you are creating with individuals at this time and, and even though those that you have started already reflect you know and 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 just to to be be sure if if this person or these persons are actually worthy you know because some of you guys you really are the main character type of energy and it takes strong individuals around you not to feel a way about you the way that you need to shine and express your light you know so that's why it's important you know that's um why i mentioned about the the moon and, and you reflecting at this time regarding that because this is a really a really intense sign scorpio is that is And it's also, like I said here, you share with Mars. Give me a few more and I'm going to shut this baby down. Even though you've already stole the show with the magician and the justice. What we'll close out messages, spirit? Ace of Wands, baby. Aries energy with the devil is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. They're going to continue to talk. They're going to continue to hate. Like I said, they're going to continue to obsess. Um, but, hey, they can can go no farther than that, you know. So you keep going up, up the ladder, you know, up the hill. You got this, Aries. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.